So London is absolutely full of some great neighbourhoods and Notting Hill West London is definitely at the top of my list. So in this video I want to share with you exactly what makes Notting Hill so special including places to eat, things to do but also what you get for your money when it comes to property. Stay tuned. So if you're considering relocating to London and you're looking for a neighbourhood bursting with character then Notting Hill should definitely be on your list. Why? Because this vibrant area is known for its colourful houses, electric shops and diverse community making it an attractive option not only for Londoners but also for foreign buyers. And Notting Hill is located in West London and belongs to the rural borough of Kensington and Chelsea, postcode W11 and it's very well known of course for its charming streets but also its leafy squares. Very attractive to American expats who come here to live here, whether it's because of work or just want to start a new life. But also if you're young, hip and trendy, Notting Hill game may be the place for you. It's a short distance from the city centre, making it ideal for those who want to work centrally. So who else calls Notting Hill home? Well, the neighbourhood has always attracted celebrities and high-profile figures, including the likes of Sir Mick Jagger, Kiara Knightley, and even Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie were amongst the famous residents here. Living in Notting Hill means rubbing shoulders with some of the city's most notable personalities. If you're actually living in Notting Hill, there's no real reason to leave the neighbourhood, which you're going to find out why. However, if you are looking for transport, it is serviced by the main tube station, which is Notting Hill Gate and it's served by the Central Line, District Line and Circle Line. Alternatively, you can use Westpool Park Station or Labour Grove, which has a Hammersmith and City, Circle, and you can also walk along the Portobello Road towards Notting Hill Gate. And you've got different bus routes taking you across different parts of London. Plus, you've got black cabs pretty much around the area all the time. So there isn't really any need for you to have a car. So Notting Hill, of course, is absolutely famous for its annual carnival, a vibrant celebration of Caribbean culture every August. But there's plenty to see and do in this neighbourhood all year round anyway, including visiting famous Portobello Road Market, browsing the shops and boutiques of Westbourne Grove, or catching a movie at the iconic Electric Cinema. One of my favourite places, or favourite places, has got to be Pharmacy, Granger and Cole, but also the lovely Ottolonghi. If you're at Ottolonghi, please do make sure you check out the gluten-free almond and orange cake with a little bit of custard. Again, Ottolonghi has quite a few of these places across London and it is one of my places that I love to visit. For a night out, try the trendy trailer happiness for cocktails or the Churchill Arms for a pint. And if you're looking for a unique shopping experience, Notting Hill's Shoppers Paradise. The area is briming with electric shops, ranging from upscale boutiques to colourful vintage and antique stores. And the fact that Notting Hill has so many great places to eat and drink absolutely means you should hit that like button because it costs you absolutely nothing at all and it really helps me out in pushing all of these videos out there. And despite Notting Hill Gate being in central London, it does have a lot of options when it comes to green spaces. Of course, you've got Holland Park itself, but one of my favourites got to be Kyoto Gardens. I love to visit there, whether it's summer or winter. In fact, I actually quite enjoy winter. There's something quite magical about it. Uh, and if that doesn't do it for you, of course, you've got Hyde Park, which should tick all your boxes when it comes to things to do of outside spaces in London. And if you're relocating to London and yet love green spaces, make sure you check out our video of the five best areas near a park. And if you're a family relocating to London and you're thinking about education and what Notting Hill Gate has to offer in terms of schools, well, it is home to some top schools, including Notting Hill Preparatory School, Premridge Hall School, and Weatherby. I'll also make sure to include the link and resources to more schools across the borough of Kensington and Chelsea. So what is it about Notting Hill's facades? Of course, Notting Hill is famous and known for its distinctive architecture. With rows of pastel coloured houses lining the street, from the grandeur of Labrador Grove Square to the cottages of Hillgate Village, there's absolutely no shortage of amazing facades to admire in this neighbourhood. And the semi-detached and detached homes along Pembridge Villas are some of the largest in the area while some beautiful flats and modern builds can be found along St Luke's Road and Westbourne Gardens. And as much as I love to share my views of West London, I'm wondering which is best, Notting Hill or Holland Park? Leave me a comment below. So this move into Notting Hill guide brings us nicely to the topic of property, which of course is my favourite. 
Now, as I dive into right move listings, I can see there are just over 700 listings, starting from 300,000 pounds, which of course it will be studio flats, one bed flats around about 500, 600,000 pound range, right up to around about 20 million pounds, which will get you, of course, more rooms, more gardens, and perhaps in a more favorable place of Notting Hill. Now, I was curious about looking at new builds in the area because uh, Notting Hill is typically known for its uh, period conversions. And yet I was surprised, pleasantly surprised. There are actually just over 30 listings that are new builds, uh, offering anything from a range from 600,000 pounds upwards. 600,000 pounds with new builds will get you from one bed flat. And then of course, the higher the price, then the more space that you get. As an area overview of Kensington, Notting Hill and Holland Park Q4 2022, we can see that when it comes to annual change in achieved price is 12% down, where annual change in transactions is 9% down, and average achieved price per square foot is £1,360, and when it comes to average discount on initial asking price, it's down by 6%. Current availability in the area that have been on the market for over three months is 72% up. When it comes to properties on the market that have been reduced in price is 46% up. And annual change in the number of available properties is 1.6% down. Percentage of available properties currently under offer is 16%. As ever, if there's anything that we can help you with, anything property in Prime London, please feel free to reach out to myself or my team.